Hello, my name is Eric Strong, and I am a hospitalist from the Palo Alto VA Hospital and clinical assistant professor at Stanford University. This will be a brief introduction to a 10 lecture course on antibiotics. The learning objectives of this video are first to be aware of the overall structure of the course, and second, to know the 12 key considerations when prescribing antibiotics. Here's the course outline. Lecture one will discuss the classification of bacteria. Lecture two will discuss the bacterial etiologies of common infectious diseases. Lecture three will provide a classification scheme for antibiotics. Lectures four through seven will discuss antibiotic selection for gram-positive, gram-negative, anaerobic, and atypical infections respectively. Lecture eight will cover the common side effects and toxicities of antibiotics. In lecture nine, I will discuss the mechanisms of antibiotic resistance and explain how to interpret susceptibility reports from the micro lab. Lastly, lecture 10 will cover a few unrelated final issues, including how to determine treatment duration and preoperative prophylaxis. I have a few introductory notes and disclaimers. First, be aware that this is a course on antibiotics and not on the entire field of infectious disease. It will focus on treatment of acute bacterial illnesses only. I hope to have future lectures and or courses that cover other forms of infection. Unfortunately, infectious disease requires a lot of memorization. Therefore, these lectures will contain a fair amount of lists and charts, more than I would typically prefer. One of my goals with the course is to summarize bacterial disease and antibiotic therapy in as clinically relevant a way as possible. I hope this will make the charts and lists easier to internalize, at least for practicing clinicians, as the information will be presented in a way that will feel inherently more familiar than the approach presented in a textbook or microbiology course. Infectious disease as a field is heavily influenced by geography. This course will be focused predominantly on common bacterial diseases found in the United States and Europe. My apologies to those of you watching from other parts of the world. I believe you will still find much helpful information here, but many of the world's most important bacterial diseases, such as cholera, will unfortunately not be discussed. Finally, this course is for educational purposes only and is not intended to direct the care of any specific patient. No video can supersede the opinion of an experienced and licensed healthcare professional. With all of those disclaimers out of the way, I want to list the 12 key considerations when prescribing antibiotics. These are questions that you should ask yourself every time you consider prescribing an antibiotic for a suspected infectious disease. What condition are you treating? Which bacterial species commonly cause that condition? What antibiotics are typically active against those bacterial species? What are the local resistance patterns like? Will there be adequate organ penetration? That is, not all antibiotics reach therapeutic levels in every organ. What is the preferred route of administration? Usually a distinction between oral or intravenous, though some antibiotics can also be given intramuscularly or topically. Are there contraindications to specific antibiotics? Is there a need for dose adjustments for coexisting renal or hepatic disease? Are there any drug-drug interactions to consider? Does anything need to be periodically monitored during therapy, such as LFTs or creatinine kinase levels? How can therapy be narrowed once the bacteria sensitivities to antibiotics are available? And finally, what is the anticipated duration of therapy? The overall objective of this entire course is for you to be able to answer all 12 of these questions for any suspected acute bacterial illness. As you go through the course, please remember to like or share the videos and feel free to ask questions about anything. I try to personally answer all questions posted as video comments. So that concludes the course introduction. Please continue on to lecture one on bacterial classification.